Welcome to the Survivor Fans Podcast. I'm Joanne. And I'm Stacy. We're here with Ben, winner of Survivor Heroes versus Healers versus Hustlers. Hi, Joanne and Stacy. Hi, hey, ben. ben. Congratulations on winning Survivor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Tell us how you were chosen to be on the show. My wife and I are huge fans. We watch the show every Wednesday, and um, I would couch Survivor it and be like, why Why are they doing that, or why didn't they see this? And, and my wife was like, well, you know, if you think, put your money where your mouth is. And so I, I made a video, and uh, it was a, a, about a year, three months later, I got a phone call. So it was, it was awesome. So one and done. You did one, and you got on. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. It was one, and, and, uh, and uh, you know, once I got the call back, I had to submit another one. But, uh, yeah, it was just one. So what did you do to prepare once you found out you were going to be on? Trying to set up uh, my family with everything they need to while I was gone. You know, my wife stays at home with the kids and the only one who works. And so being gone for that long was was a stress on us. And, and uh, insurance for, for my job was an issue. And so people donated days and I didn't even tell them what I was doing. I just said I was going on a uh, an outdoor game show and uh, I had 13 people donate days so my family was able to keep insured. So it was amazing. Oh, well, that's awesome. Did you think the votes might go your way before the reunion started? I, I was really worried about how the votes were going to go. That last final tribal sit next to Ryan and Chrissy who can articulate and um, you know are very well spoken it was pretty intimidating you know I'm, I'm, they got they got words in their vocabulary that I had never even heard of so it was uh, it, I was very nervous about uh, going into the voting what was the most difficult question you were asked at the final tribal the most difficult question at the final tribal yeah I, I, I uh, I, I would have to go back and honestly watch the tape. Our our final tribal, I believe, was one of the longest tribals out there. We literally went out at it for over three hours. Um, Chrissy and Ryan um, never, you know, were so relentless, and there were so many questions asked. I, you know, I I think they were all very difficult for me to to, to answer because of sitting next to who I was sitting next to. Did you feel anybody was bitter toward you in the jury? I, I don't I, I, I don't know. I would like to think not. The one vote that, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy I got as many votes as I did and it planned out the way it did, but Lauren's vote was uh, one of my big concerns because we were so tight and we were like best friends and I love her to death. And, uh, you know, she was very angry with me. Uh, sitting on the jury and me at tribal council and and uh, you know her her being able to put the personal stuff aside and recognize gameplay was was awesome and I been, I love Lauren. Were there any of the questions and answers that you wish we had gotten to see but weren't shown? No, you know I think I think they did a good job of highlighting what needed to be shown. They have so much footage and you're filmed 24 hours a day and there's so many stories going on but they cbs and, and survivor know what they're doing and they they portray the story as it is they can only show you what you know show the people what you give them and so it's it's all real and, and that's we're real people with flaws and, and that's that's just how it is you know did anybody bring up the whole double agent strategy that you employed did that come up i don't I, I think it maybe was touched on. I don't fully remember though. I, I believe I believe it was. We, I, I, everything was brought up at the final tribal, so I would have to say yes. I'm sure that was probably brought up. And what did your wife say when she got to see how you were trusting in her and how you felt that she helped guide you to those idols? Oh, she. You know, she is is my biggest fan. She she doesn't like to take credit for anything, and I give her a lot of credit because. She is an amazing woman and an amazing mother, but she was she was obviously very happy uh, with how I played, and uh, you know I love her to death. Yeah, she's my everything. If there had been a tie between Chrissy and Ryan for the win, who would you have cast your vote for? Ooh, that is a tough question, Chrissy and Ryan. You know, I. Fuck, ooh. Ryan making it to the end at 90 pounds and you know, like being able to go out there and still compete and not fall over was impressive. And his social game was probably one of the best. His social game better than mine and Chris by far. 
you know, after each each idol play or each blind side that he was involved or on the wrong end of, he always come back to camp and just say, "Wow, good play," you know. And and he asked questions, and if if I didn't want to answer him, he was cool with it. And then we start talking about iced coffee or, or ketchup or whatever he, he would want to talk about, you know. So, um, I, uh, that's a, that's a tough one. So, why did your alliance with Chrissy fall apart? Um, my alliance with Chrissy fell apart after the tribe swap when JP, Chrissy, and Ryan were put on the tribe together and they voted out the, you know, what, who was Allie and Rourke. That made them very, very tight. And so at the merge, I knew I was no longer was uh, Chrissy's number one. And uh, and at that point, Lauren and I had gotten really, really close. So um, we were aligned, but I, my, my, my eggs were not in her basket, you know, so to speak. Did you have any injuries or health issues while you were out there? Nope, nope, other than, like, scratches and stuff, but that's Survivor, so, yeah, nothing nothing big. What was going on with your shoulder that was always bandaged? You know, it was a, it was a crazy accident. I got bit by a bat. That's, that's not true, guys. It's a tattoo. <laughs> okay. We kind of already heard that, so. <laughs> I, yeah, I know, I know. I, I, the silence was throwing me off, though. So, yeah, no, it's a tattoo. It's a John Deere tattoo. It wasn't a bad bite. <laughs> okay, so tell us what it's been like watching the season play out with your family and friends. Oh, my, I think they've, I think they've all enjoyed it. I, I, it's been really nerve-wracking for everyone, uh, you know, because I didn't tell anybody anything. I, I told my told my wife how I did but you know seeing my name thrown around like that and possibly going home for what four or five travels in a row was it was pretty nerve-wracking for him so what did you see on tv that surprised you when you saw it what did I see on tv that surprised me probably the the early talk of the the uh them the four Lauren Ashley and Devin um you know throwing my name around that happened earlier than what I thought it would and so yeah and how long did that fire making challenge last it was not very long I know Jeff Jeff had told us like sometimes we've had these things go for hours yada 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 he's like but from the sounds of it you two this is going to happen quick and when we started I, I think it was all together maybe I, I don't know like 10-15 minutes maybe that might be on the long end too it wasn't very long what challenged you the most about playing Survivor <laughs> The challenges, you know, going into the game, I thought, I, you know, I thought I was still a, a young 21-year-old Marine, and, and uh, yeah, that was a that was a, a real uh, come to come to earth kind of situation. Is you know, competing against Cole and JP and Desi and Ash, and you know, it was uh, it was crazy. How's your view of Survivor changed after this experience? I don't think it has changed. It's still a game I love. It's you know, I'm looking forward to season 36 and being able to watch it as a fan and just enjoy the Survivor in general. You know, we're big fans of the show, and Wednesday nights are, are my wife and I's time to drink some wine an hour early and put the kids to bed in movie time, you know. So I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that and watching it as a fan again. And how has your view of yourself changed after this experience? You see flaws on TV, and you just got to learn from that and grow from that. I think as humans, that's what makes us human is, is the fact that we do have flaws. But what you know, being a better person is learning from those flaws and um, growing from it. If you have a problem and you identify it, you don't fix it. Then you know what? What are you doing? You know, you gotta you gotta learn and uh, and grow as a human being on a day to day basis and try to better yourself and help the our our. our Everyone, you know, it's just just a, a real eye opener. So, what were your proudest moments or moves in the game? Honestly, I think what really started, um, you know, from the start, my, my ability to be personable. Everyone telling me their advantages and idols and stuff like that. People, you know, um, I I apparently drew enough to talk off to some people that they wanted to tell me all their secrets. You know, taking Lauren out, who was my closest ally, and uh, being able to, you know, <laughs> to do that was it was very hard for me, but it, she was just too powerful in the game with her idol and extra extra vote. Is there anything else you'd like to say to your fans about yourself or your experience? Um, just thank thank you everybody for all the support. Um, 
know, uh, I'm just like you guys. I, I listen to Joanne and Stacy uh, on the Survivor Fan Podcast, and um, yeah, if, if you guys want to be on Survivor, you have to make a tape, and you know, anything can happen, and I highly suggest you make tapes and send them in. All right. Excellent. What's next for you? Uh, I go back to work. Once I get home, I got a week off, and then I got to get back to work and and we're going to figure out how we can save this money and make it work for us you know um we don't we don't want to spend it and, and and buy a bunch of stuff but i'm able to work right now so i'm going to go back to work and, and figure out how we can save this money well ben thank you for being with us today we enjoyed you so much this season mm-hmm. and good luck to you and your family thank you guys so much okay take care have a good day joanna stacy okay thanks bye-bye bye